little bitty kitty stuff. I can remember being on, on the same camp, man, on River North, um, and they pass out the, the laundry when we got to get our laundry washed. So we got to get our laundry washed. We got to put all our laundry in a laundry bag, man, put the name tag on and then send it to the laundry, and they wash it all in a big bulk. Uh, uh, of machine wash and dry. I know to y'all out there in the free world it sounds nasty, and it is, but that was the only way we could get our clothes at least halfway clean, you know? So, cause they washing like uh, hundreds of people clothes all together on, you know, in a big old industrial wash machine and dry, and it's through a net bag, and all your clothes is crammed up in there on top of this man clothes, this man clothes, that man clothes, and you don't know what's going on with their hygiene or personal uh, uh, situation. But that's, that's how it goes down in there. Another reason, uh, 1476000 why you shouldn't go to prison. You know, so yeah. Um, so I can remember that. That's how we do our clothes. So they're taking that all out in the morning. And they'll bring it back in the evening. And in the evening time, when they bring it back to pass it out to us, they'll lock us all down and they'll let a couple of workers out. And a couple of workers, they get out, they'll... We grabbing the bags and looking at the name tag and matching the name tag with the cell number and passing the laundry out. Now, people laundry be getting missing and everything. I know it's petty. It's super petty because it's state stuff. It ain't personal stuff. It's little state clothes. Every now and then, it's supposed to be all state clothes in there. State socks, state underwear, state t-shirts, jeans, all that. Just state stuff. Your own personal stuff, you responsible for washing it yourself. And that means by hand. That's what it is. You responsible. Because if you put it in the laundry, they not responsible for it. It might not come back. You got dudes over in the laundry, they steal your stuff. They work over there in the laundry. They open, look in the bag and see uh, personal sh shorts. They're going there and steal them. Man, they got them some personal shorts. They ain't yours no more. You can't see them. You don't know who did it. You know, dudes write their names and stuff all in the stuff with uh, uh, permanent markers. But a dude might still it to work in the laundry, but now he's sleeping your block. So you might not see it at all. So it's just crazy. But dudes will try to slide this stuff in there anyway in the hopes that it come back the same way that they sent it. All right. Now, every now and then, people clothes get missing, and then it causes an altercation. Because the people who passing out the clothes, the people who pushing the cars, the people who work in the laundry, is all inmates, all convicts. So the police ain't still in no shorts. That's that in the third. So... This particular day, they passing the laundry and everything back out. And um, dude is hollering. I heard him hollering out the door. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, man. Uh, my stuff missing on my bag. My stuff missing on my bag. So the dude is passing out the laundry. This one dude in particular, right? They call him Black. Now, Black, man, you. Black is about, about he's a short dude, maybe about my height. But Black is diesel as I don't know what, man. I mean, and he is black as a car tire, you know. I guess that's the name Black. So, but he look, he, he decent, you know, and he, and he, and he, and he look bow legged dude. He, he, when you know the dynamics and you can look at human beings or men like I can, you can size them up. You can tell he probably got a decent rumble game. You probably wanted to put some work in, you know what I'm saying, to, to go ahead on and whoop him if you had to whoop him hand to hand. So, the dude that's hollering, he. Don't see nobody on the bottom. Black is the one passing out the clothes. Another dude passing out on top. So he tell Black, I ain't got my stuff, man. You want me talking to you? So Black said, hold, hold, hold on, player. He said, man, hold on, nothing, man. I, I need my bag, man. You know what I'm saying? I got to have my bag. I'm with my bag with my stuff in it, man. It's going to be some problem with these doors open. So Black said, problem with who? He said, problem with you. So Black said, man, you tripping. He said, man, I'm trying to tell you. You tripping. You better get my stuff. And then the dude just hollering at him. He got eight bigger than black. Like I say, black my height. Black probably about five, seven, five, eight. You know, uh, uh, dude probably about six, two, six, three. He got a little size on, probably about two twenty. But his size is just big, natural. You know, bulky dude. Black size is black been on that weight pal, man. You know, those two different things. So he he barking at black and black and then black. Like I told you, the ego comes in effect. So black tell him, man, you better pipe down. He said, you better. You know what man? I tell you what, we ain't got to talk no more. Wait till these doors open. So Black said, okay, calm down. Don't get the police involved. Just be quiet. Calm down. So boom. They finish all the laundry. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody pick the laundry all up. That's that's what it is. Laundry gone. Now when the laundry gone, they open the doors. So they open the doors. Man, when they open the doors and they let everybody go where they got to go, oh boy, he comes straight out and he had the corner sale now. He come out 
get his celly out. He stand over to the right from his cell, so he away from his cell, and he just post up. He like, yeah. And then he hollered to him. He tell, him, oh, I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. Come on, door open. So black looked down and tell the black said, shh, be quiet. I'm coming. Said, wait till the police come. I'm coming down there. I'm coming. Don't worry about it. He said, yeah, all right, okay. So he serious now. Dude's looking at him with the body language and the way he act like, like, oh, he a gorilla. He gonna put that work in. He gonna do this. He gonna do that. Cause, cause he inviting the man in his cell and he acting like he bad like that. So boom, showing up. About five minutes go by. Everything selling there. Black tell the dude, man, watch the people for me, man. I'm going up in the cell. So black go down there. Boom. As soon as black go down there, black walk right back to the corner. Black see when we go in. He standing off to the side. It's his door, but he want black to go in first. I guess to, to be sure of black going in. Black asked him, playing and simple. I'm looking at him. Black said, You want me to go in there? He said, Yeah, yeah, get on in there. Black go up in that jump. <laughs> he started walking over there right behind him. Went right back up in there. He said, When I go in there, man, totally sell it. He said, Get the door closed. He walked right on in there and he totally sell it. Get the door closed. Yeah, he shouldn't have did that. <laughs> Big mistake. Big mistake, man. They won't in that cell no more than three, four minutes. And all you heard was boom, 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 boom. I, I, okay, okay, I, no, shut up. Boom, 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 shut up. Boom, boom. That's all you heard, man. Then next day you know you heard uh, Black Holly, get the door, get the door. You know, so dudes go up there to get the door open. Black walk out, man, confident his own or what. Don't look like nothing wrong with him. He just walk out, strutting down to his cell. He looking at the block because all eyes on him, like Tupac, everybody looking. And because everybody know what just happened. So he was like, over, that fast, nothing, blood everywhere. Somebody go get him. He needs some help. And walked on in his cell, you know. So dudes looking like, oh, shit. So now everybody in their mind, they want to see what dude look like because they, you know what I'm saying, they just heard the, you know, the confirmation that what's going on or what, what happened. And, uh, man, showing up, dudes was going there and there being nosy. That gets you laid in prison too, but this a new era. But this a new era I'm telling y'all about. Back in my day, that'll get you late right there. But dudes walking there and trying to peek and see, is he all right? He in there laid in a pool of blood, man. You know, dudes going there, help them up, you know, clean the blood up. All of this is, 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 is not so much um, for him. They try to really make sure the police don't know. Because when the police find out all of this right here, it's going to get the block shut down, everybody getting locked up. It's just that. It ain't so much as these dudes being good Samaritans. They really self-preservation. They looking out for themselves too. Now, some of them might have messed with the dude that might have been cool with him as well. But... More so, you know, self-preservation. He nobody won't get locked up. As long as he won't try to tell or, 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 or ask the people to try to take him to medical, dudes was going to try to help him get himself together. And that's what they went down there and did. And, uh, man, he was bust up. Bust up that fast, man. And um, according to Black, Black said he went the door closed. So when the door closed, he turned around and, and did the cardinal sin trying to talk. Now, what that? And Black said he let him pop. Hit him. So he fell back up against the door. Boom. Grab him, threw him down on the ground. Clap, 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 clap. Got up off of him. Told him to get the door. You know? And he wore them scars, man. I'm telling you. I didn't see him for, I think, three days. He ain't come out for the first three days at all. Um, you know, to go eat, uh, <laughs> use the phone. Nothing. That's how I go down in there. That's how it be happening. So dudes had to, you know, they, they say, they call him in prison. They say, on vacation. They had to put him on vacation. He don't want to come out because he don't want people to see, you know what I'm saying, the war wounds. Plus, he really don't want the police to see him because then sometimes the police will say, what happened to you? Woo, they could lock you up for investigation, try to make you tell what happened. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, it happens sometimes, not so much because they really don't care. You know what I'm saying? They truly don't care for real. But they be scared that if it's somebody, like if it's a white dude, I mean, real talk, if it's a white dude, they, oh, yeah, they going to do something. They going to lock you up. They going to make, because they scared that people get hurt and they call home and tell their people and their people call up their race, hold the hell, and then the child affairs come and the child affairs want to take pictures and then if you take pictures and he busted up, what officer was working? Why you ain't see this? Why you ain't report this? All that type of stuff happened. Normally, with a brother, it ain't gonna happen. If it happened with a white dude, oh, oh, if that 
some white dude call home and tell his, his people, since I was locked up in my experience, oh yeah, all oh, hell gonna break loose. Cause them people gonna call up there and raise hell, and they gonna come back there and raise hell on us. So, but normally, like I say, it, they don't give they don't give a day gone, man. They don't give a day gone at all. So he didn't come out for like three days. When I seen him, like on the fourth day, man, he had a pair of shades on, trying to cover his eye, you know. <laughs> And I ain't trying to be funny, but I'm just being honest, man. The man had the shades on. The shades was wopsided because his eye was so big. His eye was like a big old ostrich egg, man. And he trying to put some shades on to cover his eye. If any of y'all boxing fans, <laughs> if any of y'all boxing fans can go back and pull up the old George Foreman versus Holyfield fight, and you look at George Foreman, in the post fight, when the fight is over, the interview, his eye was swollen up so bad, he tried to have some shades on, and they were sideways. And when I looked at old boy, that's the first thing it reminded me of was George Foreman. And I ain't laugh, I was laughing to myself. But that's the first thing it reminded me of was George Foreman had them wop-sided eyeglasses on because his eye was so swollen, you know what I'm saying? And that's what it was with him. And um, one thing about a butt whooping in prison, man, one way or another, you know, if you can survive that, Joan, it's going to humble you. It's going to humble you, man. He was quiet as a church mouse after that. He didn't have nothing else to say. He won't bark it. You got the before and the after. The before was, you better get my MF clothes and woo 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 and, you know, F you and I, you know, after nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because the gig is up now. If, you know, black ain't no pushover, so I'm sure dudes looking at black like, well, you know, maybe black will whoop him, but, you know, everybody might can't whoop him. Nah, they don't look at it like that. Dudes look at it like, oh, man, shh, you exposed. So, you know, you look that different, you're going to be carried different, you're going to be talked to different, you're going to be treated different. Period. That's just how it go. Those are the dynamics in prison. I mean, it's sad, but it's true. So, you know, yeah, I can remember that incident, man. Like, like you know, yeah, that was that was a crazy situation. Thank you, special. Yeah, pure delicious. Pure deliciousness, man. My name is uh, Banky, man. Everybody calls me Banky. That's the name that I got from my grandmother when I was young. I'm coming out here after 30 years. Yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm going to have something because I'm rich in personality. You know, and uh, I'm rich in love. My family loves me. And that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts.